C. Lindelof videos, sign of trig functions. This is actually not too bad at all. So let's take a look at this for a second. First thing we're going to do is take the Cartesian plane and talk about some of the stuff that we already knew about the Cartesian plane. We know for a fact that given x, y, right, given x, y, that quadrant 1, this is 1 right here, this is 2 over here, this is 3 over here, and this is 4 over here, right? So we have to know where our quadrants are. But we know that in the first quadrant, x is positive and y is also positive. In the second quadrant, we know that x is negative and y is positive. In quadrant 3, we know that x is negative and y is negative. And lastly, we know in quadrant 4 that x is positive and y is negative, right? So that's what we get from algebra, and that's great that you know that. But also remember, given the unit circle, given the unit circle, just an idea of what that looks like and where we are, we know that these x and y values correspond to cosine theta and sine theta. So what do we know here? We know that this is the cosine value. It's positive. So we know that cosine theta is positive in quadrant 1. We know that sine theta is positive in quadrant 1, right? What about tan theta? Well, tan theta, look at this. Tan theta is equal to sine theta, isn't it, over cosine theta theta. We know that they're both positive in this case because of this positive positive. So we have a positive over a positive. So tan theta is also positive, right? We know that cosecant, I'm sorry, we know that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta, isn't it? Well, cosine theta here is positive. So a positive over a positive is positive. So that one's also positive. We know that cosecant theta, we know that cosecant theta is 1 over sine, and sine is positive, so so is this. And lastly, we know that cotan theta is cosine over sine. They're both positive here because of this, so these are all positive. So what do we know here? That all are positive. Next question is, which are positive here? So which values are positive in quadrant 2? Well, we know cosine is not because it says here that cosine is negative. But the y value is the sine value, so we know that sine of theta is, right? Well, what goes with cosine? Cosecant, right? Look at this. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. This 1 at the top is going to stay just the way it is. In, so that's a positive 1, so that's a positive. If sine is positive also... It's a positive over a positive, so that's positive. Right? So that means that cosecant of theta is also positive. So what's positive here? What's positive here? Well, it's not too hard to figure out. If sine, if cosine is negative and sine is negative here, then we know that cosine and sine are not are not positive. And if cosine and sine are not positive, we know that their reciprocals are not positive. But what about tan? Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And sine theta is negative. Cosine theta is negative. And a negative over a negative is a positive. So we know that tan theta is positive here, right? And what's, what's the reciprocal of tan theta? But cotan theta, so it's also positive. Finally here, just looking at these two values, which are positive here. Remember, the x value corresponds to cosine, so we know cosine of theta is positive here. Sine of theta is negative. What, what goes with cosine theta? Secant theta, so secant theta, right? There's this stupid little acronym that has been used for a long time. Um, and it is a smart trig class. All a smart trig class. And if you're like, well, what about these other angles? This is reciprocal to this. This goes with this. This goes with this, doesn't it? Also, I just want to have this said to you before you turn this off, that 
by listing all the positive ones, if the if the trigonometric function is not positive in a quadrant, it's negative in that quadrant, isn't it? Okay, you guys, I know uh, this stuff is a pain, but once you get this memorized, once you start getting these ideas put away, trig will get a lot easier. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Your comments are always welcome. I appreciate it.